Now imagine if Opsindu resumed at this very moment. As we've learned from the war in Ukraine and at home in Opsindhuv, the wars of the future will be fought with projectiles. Think missiles fired by fighter jets or launched by submarines or blasting off from enemy territory hundreds of miles away. Think of rockets or drones. Most importantly, drones. Drones are cheap and they come in swarms. So how do you stop them? Well, that's the reason Chakra is here in Hyderabad. Today is 26-11, uh, such an eventful day which marked the paradigm shift in which our heartland was hit by a terror attack. Uh, many decades, about a couple of decades back, two and a half years, uh, 25 years back. What is very important to understand today is no more the attack is going to come on the feet in form of gun wielding uh, terrorists who will walk into our infrastructure or a very prominent place to be attacked. The wars of today and very fast of tomorrow are not going to be fought onto the borders, they will be fought deep into the hinterland where the national resilience of a country is going to be tested and they will like to win a war without actually fighting by striking very key infrastructure projects, something like what is happening in Ukraine and Russia. You see the pipelines getting hit, you see the refineries getting struck. You will find very critical industries which are related to defense manufacturing getting hit. You will have data centers being brought down, you will have uh, systems like uh, uh, then the ATCs or airports which is being going to be hit when the travel is going to be difficult and therefore the minds of civilians, the population while the forces are fighting on the border, the minds of the uh, people in the hinterland are going to be shaped to get defeated much more earlier without actually applying uh, uh, enough amount of war resources for against the country. And therefore, I think this platform which is being launched by Indrajal called the Indrajal Ranger is a very important step in that direction because war is not going to be fought only on the borders, it's going to be fought in the hinterland as well. This system which I have gone through the reports and I have also gone been briefed by uh, Kiranji and his entire team is a great step towards protecting our hinterland from aerial threats which come about and I think the solution which has been provided is awesome. These existing systems are not built to do this, right? And that is why we said we will build a new variant called the petrol vehicle. And that's how Indrajal Ranger is the India's first anti-drone petrol vehicle, right? So Indrajal Ranger, I mean, it is not built in a day. Uh, we actually had a, a built a prototype uh, three months back and we deployed in the border. Uh, and in six days, we were able to catch 40 drones in one location. Fundamentally, this vehicle can detect any drone in a 10 kilometer radius. Once I detect something 10 kilometers out, I will have to move the vehicle quickly into a location where I pick, pick the, bring the drone into a mitigation range. In most systems, I'll have to switch off, reposition, restructure the power, restructure this, all of that is not required. You move quickly. You reach that, you reach an interception point using the vehicle and bring the rogue drone into the four kilometer range. Right? There are three ways the system can stop any drone. The first, it has a four kilometer cyber takeover system. That means the system can hack the drone that is there and it will catch the drone and it will land it very right beside the vehicle. If, for example, we are unable to do cyber takeover on, the, on, on these particular drones, then we have a second layer which is a three kilometer soft kill. So this uses electronic warfare or jamming and spoofing to crash the drone. And worst case, within a two kilometer range, if soft kill is also not working and the drone is still moving, we will use an interceptor. So it has a, the vehicle itself has a drone that can launch and it can actually go to this, go follow this drone 
and either give me the location of where this drone is landing or in worst cases crash into this drone to be able to stop it so having said that i think fair to say that you know let's let's unveil the the vehicle right we're all set let's do the countdown 3 2 and 1 Now, Ops Indoor brought drone warfare to India, and lo and behold, we've got the country's first ever indigenous mobile counter drone system. This right here is the Indrajal Ranger. But as it happens, this system did not evolve as a consequence of Ops Indoor. In fact, it predated Ops Indoor. Now, with us, we have the man behind the machine and the brains behind this operation, Mr. Kiran Raju. Welcome to Chakra, sir. Thank you, thank you. So. what inspired you to you know uh, venture into the creation of such a system yeah so so uh, before that let me correct something that you just said right it the, the, it's not the first mobile anti drone system right there might be a lot of uh, anti drone systems were built on a vehicle right but the fundamental difference is that these anti drone systems are just vehicle mounted but they are not petrol vehicles so this is one of its kind because it's a petrol vehicle that means that the the vehicle can be moving while the anti drone system is active so what inspired me to build it is you know i i heard the story about our border areas where every day there are thousands of drone incursions happening which are carrying drugs and weapons so the drugs and weapons change that entire border areas into war zones in in reality right and there's their communities families broken uh there is lives being lost so this made me understand saying that you know we cannot have traditional defense based systems for for that kind of a mindset so then we said you know we need a lightweight system we need to it should be able to go in a 4 by 4 terrain it should be able to system should be active while the uh, while while we are mitigating these drones and that's how we said okay we will build it on a very light you know lightweight um 4 by 4 based platform and we will be able to use certain technologies in there which are uh, superb to be able to catch these drones uh, that are carrying drugs and weapons and we three months back we tested this on the on the border and it was extremely successful as a as a prototype and that's that prototype success is what made the indrajal ranger come out today right so who do you see using them uh, from our conversation earlier today and from your speech here uh, it seemed clear that this has a lot of urban applications uh, so which are the forces that you see uh, that are going to be the indrajal ranger when the time comes the i would say the uh, the primarily it would be most of the border security forces like bsf ssb uh, and all the all the 15000 kilometers of border of india is is crucial coast guard uh, police uh, as well as private security for uh, uh, oil and gas refineries factories phosphorus factories a highly flammable factory right if a drone comes and falls into a phosphorus battery it will be a huge damage so they will, i i imagine them uh, to also uh, take this up cisf right secure very critical infrastructure security is also a problem a good customer yeah, i think this is a, a highly escalating field drones is a highly escalating field every day there are new drones uh, that are uh, coming into the world so as a platform this will keep evolving every uh, quarter to match what the drone industry is doing um and uh, the, and uh, but the use case will remain strictly to uh, urban and border area uh, used utilization but it will uh, technology will keep improving as we move forward So why the Indrajal Ranger? Well, you see, the problem is drones, and that drones come in swarms of hundreds, if not thousands. And no matter what you do, some of them will always get through. Now, a couple of drones are not going to conquer a country or defeat a nation. However, 
they can cause a lot of psychological impact. They can bring war to the everyday lives of citizens. Systems like these, which offer wide range area protection, which can protect infrastructure, which can protect events, which can protect uh, congregations of people. These systems will play a key role here in taking down errant drones and in providing a patrolling uh, drone or indeed air defense cover to entire areas or facilities. Now, what you see here is the Toyota Hilux platform. This is one of Toyota's most rugged uh, vehicles and it's famous worldwide for overlanding. That is a mark of its quality. Onto this, you see these heavy set tires. These will take on virtually any sort of terrain. Uh, what you see behind here is uh, a drone that takes out the enemy drone. So this is part of the hard kill chain of the Indrajal Ranger. As soon as uh, the enemy comes within say three kilometers, the hard kill drone is dispatched and it actually takes down the enemy drone. Inside, you've got two more systems. Well, because you see Indrajal uh, consists of three different layers of protections. The first is indeed when it detects an enemy drone. Now it has a range of 10 kilometers in which it can detect any enemy bogey that infiltrates the area. When the enemy uh, thing comes under 4 kilometers or indeed the patrolling vehicle will move within 4 kilometers of the enemy bogey and then it has two options. The first option is a cyber kill in which it will hack the enemy uh, drone and take it down. Another option is a soft kill. In a soft kill, EW measures are deployed and the enemy drone is brought down and in fact taken command over. The last part is this part. One of the best things about this system is that it's completely autonomous. There are spaces for two people inside this. Uh, well, there's space for a driver and there is a space for an operator. But this whole system largely works autonomously. It's based on its own operating system and should the vehicle be turned off, this is enough juice to keep going for seven hours. Now that is some protection.